Okay, I'm here with Guijing Chen, and we're going to do a little Linux tutorial to get you guys started. We're going to um, get Apache up and running and working on our system. So, step one is to make sure that you have Apache installed on your system. Right, Gene? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so, let's see here. Oh, we got a capture. I'm using VirtualBox instead of an actual uh, Fedora system. Um, using a virtual box uh, fedora system okay so we're gonna look for uh, first off what we need to do is we need to um, update our system okay so I'm gonna go to system administration add remove software okay does that sound good Gene yeah it is okay so uh, we also can do the yum right yum updating yes we could have used a uh, yum and done this with a terminal going to applications system tools and we could open up a terminal window instead but I thought we'd just do this easy way add remove software which is the graphical user version of the yum updater okay so in here I'm gonna type httpd for the http daemon or um, or daemon which is uh, essentially Apache alright should we do a search okay find let's see what we find Okay, it's finding all kinds of stuff. Uh, hey, look, we got some results, didn't we, Gene? Yes. So. Okay, Gene, what do we want to we want to install first of all? Apache HTTP server. Okay, Apache HTTP server. You can see here it says HTTPD for the daemon, and that's the server right there. Okay. Also, we could install and other things too. Uh, such uh, as the tools. How about the documentation? That might help. <laughs> you know, uh, let's see how big is it. Uh, uh, 800 oh. kilobytes. Oh yeah, yeah, we need that, right? Yeah. That's not gonna tools for use with the server. Yeah, that I looks agree. good. Yeah, you like that? Uh -huh. Tools looks good. Yeah. Okay, but really all we needed was that, and we need the GUI tools. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. Apache, Apache configuration Apache. tool. Look, it's automatically ad automatically uh, selected, right? Maybe that's because it's already installed. But actually, I'm not sure about that. Does that mean it's already installed when it's opened up like that? Uh, Maybe not. Did you install the Apache? Yeah, I probably already did. Yeah. You see, but because I remember last time where I did. No, yes, no, no, no. Look, 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 it. look, look, look. Okay. Now, it's, oh, see when you put it here, you see here this one is automatically selected right now mm -hmm. because I probably clicked on this tools one let's see if you turn off that and you go down here oh no it's still selected yeah, it was, yeah. let's see if you turn off this maybe that one is still not selected oh uh, I don't want to do that right now okay oh it's automatically yeah. selected okay okay all right so, so if you, if you uh, choose the Apache HTTP yeah. server, it will just auto chosen. Somehow it was auto chosen, but maybe because I already had. Uh, okay, that looks good. Uh, okay, all right, apply. Okay, yep. so now it's going to download and install those packages, and then after it does that, let's see it. Let's see if this works. Okay, we'll come back and we'll put the rest into another tutorial. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. There it is. Whoops. Uh, two additional packages also have to be installed. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, we can do it. That wants my root password. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Almost forgot my root password there, but so now it's installing and we will I'll tell you how it goes and we'll do the rest in the next video.
Oh, see, when you put it here, 